Good morning students, Saira. Let us continue with chapter 3 playing with numbers. This is part 12 of the chapter. In today's session, uh, let us solve the remaining problems of exercise 3.6. So, question 1 problem D. 27 and 63 are the two numbers. We have to find the HCF of these two numbers. So, how do we do that? First, we do the prime factorization of 27 as well as 63 to find their prime factors and then find the common factors and multiply them. That is how we find the HCF of these two numbers. So, let us uh, do the prime factorization of 27. 27 cannot be divided by 2 the lowest prime number. So, we move on to 3 the next one. 3 divides 27 9 times 3 9s are 27 and again 9 can be divided by 3, 3 3s are 9 and 3 is a, nine, a prime number it can be divided by itself 3 1s are 3. Till we get 1 we go on dividing the number. So, what are the prime factors of uh, the number 27? 3 into 3 into 3. Similarly, we prime factorize the number 63. 63 cannot be divided by 2, it is an odd number. So, we move on to 3, the next prime number. 3 2s are 6 and 3 1s are 3, 21. 21 is again divisible by 3. So, 3 7 da is 7s are 21. And 7 is a prime number divisible by itself, 7 1s are 7. So, how can 63 be expressed? as the product of its uh, prime factors it is 3 into 3 into 7. Now, let us find the common factors. The common factors of 27 and 63 are 3. So, we write this 3 for the common one uh, co uh, as the common one and then this 3 is also common another 3. So, we will take it as this and multiply both of them 3 into 3 is 9. So, what is the HCF of 27 and 63? It is 9. Now, we move on to problem G. Uh, problem E and F are a very simple one, two numbers. You have to find the HCF of uh, the two numbers. You have to do them as your homework. Now, here in problem G, we have 3 numbers 70, 105 and 175. We have to find the HCF of these two numbers, uh, these 3 numbers. So, what do we do? We do the prime factorization of these 3 numbers and then find the common factors and multiply them. That is how we find the HCF of these 3 numbers. So, let us uh, do the prime factorization of the first number 72 can divide 70 35 times is not it to uh, 35 times is 70. Again 35 can be divided by 5, 5 7 is 35 and 7 can be divided by 7 itself 1 we get. So, what are the prime factors of 70? 2 into 5 into 7 and let us do the prime factorization of 105. 105 can be divided by 3, 3, 3 is a 9, 3 5s are 15. So, 35 we get and 35 can be divided by 5 the next prime number 5 7s are 35 and 7 is a prime number it is divisible by itself 7 ones are 7. So, what is the prime factorization of 105? It is 3 into 5 into 7. In the similar fashion we uh, do the prime factorization of 175. 175 is divisible by 5, 5 threes are 15 and 5 fives are 25, 35 we get and 35 is divisible by 5, 5 7s are 35 and 7 is divisible by itself, 7 1s are 7. 
So what is the prime factorization of 175? It is 5 into 5 into 7. Now let us find the common factors of these three numbers. So what are the common factors? They are 5 and 7. So 5 into 7 is 35. So what is the HCF of these three numbers? 70, 105 and 175 it is 35. The next problem H we have three numbers 91, 112 and 49. So we have to find the HCF of these three numbers. So let us do the prime factorization of these two uh, three numbers. So 91 first three prime factorize 91. 91 is divisible by 7, 7 ones are 7, 7 threes are 21, isn't it? We get 13 and 13 is a prime number, it is divisible by itself, 13 ones are 13. So what is the prime factorization of 91? It is 7 into 13. Similarly, we do the prime factorization of 112, 112 is divisible by 2, 2 5s are 10 and 2 6 are 12. So it is 56 and 56 is again divisible by 2, 2 2s are 4 and 2 8s are 16, 28 we are getting, 28 is again divisible by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, 14 is again divisible by 2, 2 7s are 14. And 7 is a num prime number divisible by itself, 7 ones are 7. So what is the prime factorization of 112? It is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. Similarly, let us prime factorize 49. 49 is divisible by 7, 7 7s are 49. And 7 is divisible by itself, 7 ones are 7. So what is the prime factorization of 49? It is 7 into 7. Now let us find the prime factors, uh, common factors, common prime factors. What are they? 7 is the common factor of all the three numbers, is not it? So we take 7 and what is the HCF of 91, 112 and 49? It is 7. This way we find the it's a f of three numbers. Now I, 18, 54 and 81, three numbers we have. We have to find the it's a f, isn't it? So let's do the prime factorization of 18. 18 is divisible by 2. 2 9s are 18. And 9 is divisible by 3. 3 3s are 9. And 3 is a prime number divisible by itself. 3 ones are 3. So what is the prime factorization of 18? It is 2 into 3 into 3. Now let us move on to the next one. 51, uh, 54. 54 is divisible by 2. 2 2s are 4. And 2, four, uh, two sevens are 14. 27 we get. And 27 is divisible by 3. So 3 9s are 27 and again 9 is divisible by 3, 3 3s are 9 and 3 is divisible by itself, 3 1s are 3. So what is the prime factorization of 54? It is 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Similarly, the prime factorization of 81 is also done. 81 is divisible by 3, 3 2s are 6 and 3 7s are 21. Again 27 is divisible by 3, 3 9s are 27. Again 9 is divisible by 3, 3 3s are 9 and 3 is divisible by itself, 3 1s are 3. So what is the prime factorization of 81? It is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now let us find the common factors of these three numbers, common prime factors. So we see that 3 is common. So we put uh, this 3 here and another 3 is also common, alright. 
for all the three numbers 3 is a factor okay so again we take it like this and we multiply them 3 into 3 9 so what is the HCF of 1854 and 81 it is 9 now let's move on to the next problem J again we have three numbers 12 45 and 75 so let's do the prime factorization of 12 12 is divisible by 2 2 6 are 2 6 are 12 and 6 is again divisible by 2 2 3s are 6 and 3 is divisible by itself 3 1s are 3 so what is the prime factorization of 12 let's write it like this 2 into 2 into 3 similarly prime factorization of 43 we start by the smallest prime number it is not divisible by 2 so we move on to the next prime number 3 3 1s are 3 3 5s are 15 so it is 15 this 15 is again divisible by 3 3 5s are 15 and 5 is the prime number divisible by itself 5 ones are 5 so what are the prime factors of 45 they are 3 into 3 into 5 now let's do the prime factorization of 75 75 is divisible by 3 3 2s are 6 3 5s are 15 25 we are getting 25 is divisible by 5 5 5s are 25 and 5 is a prime number divisible by itself 5 ones are 5 so how can we express 75 as a product of its prime factors it is 3 into 5 into 5 now what are the common factors of these three numbers we can see that 3 is common factor of all the three numbers so we take the HCF as 3 so what is the HCF of 12, 45 and 75? It is 3. Let us move on to the next question. Question number 3. What is the HCF of 2 consecutive numbers, even numbers, 2 consecutive even numbers and 2 consecutive odd numbers? So first solve, uh, let us solve A. What is the HCF of 2 consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers means continuous numbers like 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10 like that. They are consecutive numbers, continuous numbers. So what is the HCF of two consecutive numbers? We know that two consecutive numbers will have only one as the common factor. Okay. So the HCF of two consecutive numbers will be 1. Okay. Now let us see the next one. What is the consecutive? Uh, uh, HCF of two consecutive even numbers. Let us for example take 22 and 24. These are two consecutive even numbers, is not it? 24 is the next even number after 22. So, what is uh, uh, their HCF? Uh, Let us write their prime factors. Uh, 22 can be written as 2 into 11 and 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So, what is their common factor? The common factor is 2. So, their HCF is 2. So, the HCF of 2 consecutive even, even numbers is 2. You can take uh, more examples of 2 consecutive uh, even numbers and find their HCF. Okay? It will be 2. Now, let us move on to the next one. See the common factors of 2 consecutive odd numbers. 2 consecutive odd numbers like 3 and 5, 7, 9, all right, 9, 11, 11, 13. We can see that the common factor of these consecutive odd numbers, two consecutive odd numbers, let us take for example 5 and 7, their common factor will be 1. Okay? So, their HCF will also be 1. All right? So, the common, uh, the HCF of two consecutive odd numbers will be 1. Now, uh, next question, it is question number 4. Uh, HCF of co-prime numbers 4 and 15 was found as follows by factorization. So, factorization of 4 and 15 is done. 4 is expressed as 2 into 2 and 15 is expressed as 3 into 5. 
and uh, in the question it is asked since there is no common factor so their HCF will be 0 is it right no because when there is no common factor 0 is not the factor of any number and when the two, num two numbers do not have any common factor they have one as the common factor. So, the HCF of these two numbers 4 and 15 will be 1 it will not be 0 all right. So, with this problem we end this session we will uh, learn more concepts in the coming session till then keep pra practicing whatever you have learnt.